Notre Dame Academy rowing team had seven seniors on their spring roster. That's seven athletes that will never have the expected closure one usually gets for playing a sport for four years. The class of 2020 has accomplished so much and each one of them brought something to this team. Lily Bunker, a relentless athlete, always giving consistent effort, always asking what she could do to improve on and always communicating her goals. Sure, sometimes she was a little doubtful, but once she set out to do something, she put the work in and she got it done. Abby Fursden carries this quiet confidence you can rely on. She really earned herself a reputation of being a strong-willed, trustworthy, and disciplined student athlete, using every stroke, run, land workout as an opportunity to break past complacency. Caitlin Garza, always putting the team above herself. She would finish her runs and if people were still going, she'd turn right around and finish with them. She really instilled drive and determination with those she's worked with. And I think that was because she didn't gain anything by succeeding alone. She wanted to succeed with her teammates. Mara Macy, always finding positivity, never hindering regardless of weather, workout, lineup. She was just able to come in, focus on what mattered and what she needed to do for the success of this team. You know, always being present and engaged and willing to take on a challenge and face it head on. Valerie Aponce, it was pretty common on race days for her to go from stroking an eight to bow seat in a four. And arguably these are the most fragile seats in a boat. And to fill these positions in successfully, you need a competitive athlete and a strong technical rower. And she easily just fits the bills for those, both of those. And you can really tell from her work ethic that she aims for long-term success rather than a quick temporary achievement. Sophia Roos, she actually has been around this team for 12 years. Both of her sisters were rowers here. And, but she definitely came and marked her own path. You know, she always showed up and was supportive and encouraging for her teammates, willing to work hard right along next to a girl and just push them with her. And I think she would show up and she knew when you're here, you're here to be an athlete, you're here to be a teammate and everything else was left outside. Maisie Smatches, her mental toughness and mental dexterity grew so much over the past years. You know, seeing her confidence grow has been really rewarding. And because of that, she quickly became the strong leader to the underclassmen, always being welcoming, always helping them figure things out and just working hard because she wanted the younger kids to see that they're capable of doing it too. So to the class of 2020, thank you for all the time and commitment you've put in year after year, season after season. I'm very lucky that I've had the opportunity to work with you all and just watch you all grow up. And I can, you've all accomplished so much and I can never take credit for what you've achieved. I merely made the suggestions. You guys were the ones that put in the work. You guys are the ones that carried it through. And I'm really proud of you guys. Um, you guys had more than just a spring season taken away from you, but I hope you'll be able to look back at your time here and just find the positives and really reflect on all that you've brought to this team and be proud of what you accomplished during your high school athletic career and what you've left behind. So just thank you.